The Lataba Rest Camp was our next stop in the Kruger National Park and shortly after setting up camp, an Ahina came to say hello. From the Lataba Rest Camp we drove to Palaborva to do a last resupply on food. As always, Jackie made sure that everything fits neatly inside and through the land. We are on top of the, the top of bridge at the sunrise. We enjoyed our stay at the Lataba Rest Camp. We did regular fence walks and we also visited the Elephant Hall Museum, which is highly recommended if you ever in this part of the world. Hubert and I just arrived at Olifant's camp. We are staying here for the next two nights. Um, we're actually staying in a unit. I think it's been about um, a month since we've last stayed in a proper house or a building. I think it was in Naun, Botswana. So it's gonna be good to take a break from camping just for two nights. That's elephants crossing the Elephants River. And we are here at Olifant's camp in the Kruger National Park. We're staying in a hut for the next two days overlooking the river. During our stay at the Olifants Rest Camp, we did not even go on a game drive as the views of the river were so spectacular and the animal sightings were great.
Our next camp was the Belule Satellite Camp, and this was one of our favorites. Located right next to the Willifrance River, with only a few sites, all located right next to the fence. Elephant joined the mix. There's one over there. There's quite a few over here. Oh, This was the biggest pride of lions that we saw in the Kruger National Park. We sat with them for a couple of hours until they finally got up. Unfortunately, these lions only started moving right before the gate closing time. So we only had a couple of minutes to film them before we had to make our way back to camp. The next morning we were up early search for the lions. Unfortunately, we did not find the lions, but we did have some pretty spectacular other sightings. We are just south of Ulifans and Balile, on the way to Satara.
By the time we reached Satara, we have been in the Kruger for more than two weeks and we found a rhythm of relaxing and game view. The Kruger was good for the soul. As we travel south in the Kruger National Park, we make sure that we travel on all the roads that we haven't traveled on before. Make sure that you go and follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you want to see daily stories of our adventures. In the next episode, we travel further south in the Kruger National Park. We have amazing animal encounters. We light a fire and Jackie drives Mkulu the Landy. Thanks for watching this episode. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, cheers.